Hi. <laughs> So where are you from? I was born in Los Angeles, but I was raised in New York City. And what was your first break? My first break? Yeah. Like my big break? Yeah. Um, it was a visit from the Goon Squad, which was an HBO pilot that was produced by James Franco. And what have you been in? Whew, uh, visit from the Goon Squad, Memoria. I did some 48-hour film projects, which were very hectic and crazy. and. Shameless and Happy Death Day, which comes out today. And how do you feel about this career? So excited, and I was originally really nervous and insecure, but now I'm really confident, and I'm just really, really excited to see where it's going to go and take me. How did you decide to become an actor? I grew up with my dad, who is also an actor, and uh, being on the set, I just always knew that that's where I wanted to be. Watching them may always made me happy, and whenever I wasn't on a set, I was always daydreaming about being on a set. How would you describe your specialty or type? Mm, awkward and silly and wild, but disciplined and strong. Who's your favorite actor you look up to? Mm. Well, I love Meryl Streep, honest, obviously, but um, recently I've, not recently, it's not true. I love Emma Stone. She's amazing. And I actually look up to all of the actors who are on Shameless, who I'm blessed enough to have been able to work aside. But um, obviously my father is a huge, huge favorite of mine. What would your ideal job be? If I wasn't an actor. If I wasn't or, an actor. Or in acting. Oh, oh, in acting. Oh my gosh, I would love to play a vampire. But like in a, re like last in a review with a vampire type movie. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yes, very lucky. Well, but luck is one thing and hard work is another. So I'm lucky that my hard work has gotten me to where I am now. <laughs> what advantages do you have? Um, my father's name definitely got my foot in more doors than most are able to get into like in an easier way but once my name got me in I had to do the work and I had to pave my own path from there so my name is probably my advantage. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? A diploma. What do you think about the need for instant gratification? Mmm, be humble. <laughs> How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Hmm, what do you mean? Just how easily everything is accessible and connected. I think it's it's brought people to be a bit more greedy. And like your previous question, self-gratification is definitely... Uh, like you see that a lot more often. A lot of selfies being taken. Every, I feel like a lot of people are more self-conscious about who like what they look like and that's not what it should be about but I think it's good because it also has its ups but with ups come downs. <laughs> what does the future look like to you? Bright. How do you feel about having children? Oh my gosh I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't do it now obviously but one day. What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Trump. <laughs> What are you most grateful for? Trump and global warming. <laughs> I'm going that far. Sorry, yes. That's not for grateful, is it? Not for grateful? No, no, no. What are you most grateful for? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Not grateful, no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what am I most grateful for? My family. And my family. And my friends. What's your favorite way to communicate? Phone. Telephone speaking. If I'm not in person with, the, with somebody, of course, but texting is, ah, no. What's your favorite book, film, and music right now? Favorite book right now is Frida, a biography of Frida Kahlo. What was the next one? Film? Film? Oh, come on. There's so many. My current favorite film would be Happy Death Day. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Happy Death Day is my favorite film right now. <laughs> and music? Oh, um, Greaves. Shout out to my friend Benjamin. Uh, 
um, Rage Against the Machine. Amy Winehouse is my all-time favorite artist forever. Out of James. That list goes on forever as well. I will be here for hours. Great. Thanks. <laughs>